And now, if there are any members of our congregation who would like to offer their own prayers and supplications, I welcome you to do so at this time. I offer a prayer for all of the sick and needy of the world that they may find food and shelter. Lord, please help all those who are out of work and discouraged. Hear our prayer. Lord, please help those in this church who are out of work and help them to be strong so they no longer feel the need to take money from the collection plate. Hear our prayer. Uh, Father, uh, let us pray for those who suffer from vanity, which keeps them from wearing their glasses, or else they would see when someone just put a $10 bill into the plate and simply was trying to get some change. Lord, can we talk about hygiene for a moment? Um, on these warm, sunny, moist Sunday mornings when we are gathered to rejoice in your glory and in a church without air conditioning, uh, let the sheep of your fold remember that a swipe of arid extra dry is a thing of beauty in thine eyes and nostrils. Lord, make it so I can become invisible. <laughs> be really cool. God, for this, let's, let's just call him a friend, say, uh, of mine who has been cruelly abandoned by his wife and left alone with two young children, we pray. Here are our prayer. For those who are abandoned because they put their marriages in irreversible peril <laughs> through the unholy practice of adultery, we pray to the Lord. <laughs> For those who live with distant, sullen, and vindictive spouses, Lord, who find themselves driven outside the home for the most basic comforts, Lord, we pray. For those who see extramarital carnal knowledge as a basic comfort and a God-given right, we pray to the Lord. For those so burdened by personal resentment and rage, Lord, that they would pass judgment without mercy or compassion upon someone who's simply trying to live his life out to the fullest in, in such a way that, that they could only fantasize about. We pray. Lord, if I could change the subject for just a moment, um, I'd, like to, I'd like to offer a prayer for, for men. Men who, in the early stages of a relationship, keep themselves attractive and physically fit, you know, but after about, oh, eight months, let themselves go. <laughs> and then, you know, it don't seem to notice that the daily experience of seeing them sprawled out on the couch, absentmindedly, you know, scratching their bulbous, hairy gut while watching ESPN is both a turnoff and repulsive. Uh, Hear our prayer. prayer. Amen. God, I want to be able to fly. For those struggling with the decision of whether to have children or not, I, I pray that they have these children and experience the joy of parenthood. Here are our prayer. Prayer. Uh, Lord, for those couples who are experiencing the joy of parenthood, I would pray that they would increase their joy by supervising uh, those children <laughs> so they didn't just run wild in the neighborhood and that those parents would take some responsibility when their children lean their bicycles up against cars and scratch the paint job. <laughs> You know, I pray that the Lord will heal some people of their delusions of seeing damage when no damage exists. And I would also like to pray that when these people perform acts that are displeasing to our Lord, that they would pull the window shades all the way down. Here are Here are our oh, bite me. Here are Here are our <laughs> I'd like to pray that the Sonics defense can adjust better to the Lakers so that they can kick their ass. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I would like to pray that we use our prayers for something a little more substantial, please. Uh, I'd like to pray that some people just shut their fat face <laughs> and not anger God about the Lake Air Sonic series, especially when most of us who are gathered here in his name have money riding yeah. on it. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And make it so I can see through women's clothing, Lord. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Yeah. 